Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss box model in CSS, which is very important question as far as G2 is concerned, as well as it is very important when we do programming. All the HTML elements can be considered as a boxes. In CSS, the term box model is used when talking about design and layout. Basically, box model contains four properties, that is margin, border, padding, and the content itself. The box model allows us to place a border around elements and space elements in relation to other elements. The image below illustrate the box model. For example, we have some content, some paragraph, some h1 or any element with having some content. So we need some padding between border and our content. We want some space between our content and the border. So what we can do, we can specify padding. And we can also specify the width of our border. And there is one more thing that is margin. But you can only see margin when there are two, uh, two separate elements. What margin specifies is the distance between two elements. What border specify the width of the border. What padding specify distance between the content and your border. So this is how we can specify three different ways padding, border and margin and all this is a box model. We can specify a padding for same for all the four uh, sides or we can specify that separately. How? For example, this is our content and I only want to have a padding in my top side. So I can specify this is the property itself padding dash top. I can specify like padding dash top to 10 pixel or 20 pixel. Same way I can specify right bottom and left same way I can also specify border to top left right left and margin top right bottom and left so this completes our box model the content some padding some border some margin so let's see an example for that for example I'm creating one para I am creating one paragraph which is a very big paragraph and when I refresh the page there is our paragraph. For example I want to see the box model if you are using chroma you can simply uh, press F12 and you can select this particular paragraph you will see the box model in a developer mode. Here you can see our content is having width 1136 pixel and height of 108 pixel you can see here color will be changed when I focus over here this is our content actual content this is padding which we haven't specified this is border and this is margin you, s you can see the color why it is already specified even we haven't specified because paragraph is having by default margin of 16 pixel top and bottom so uh, let's see how we can specify the borders and padding and margin in this particular case whenever I target particular element P and I specify padding to that padding like I specify padding 20 pixel if I don't specify like padding desktop simply I write padding that means same 20 pixel for all the four sides okay and when I refresh this particular page, you can see there is a margin uh, padding of 20 pixel here, 20 pixel from top, 20 fix, uh, pixel from the right and 20 pixel from the bottom. This is our padding. But you can only uh, feel the padding when you specify some border to that. For example, I'm specifying border 1px solid and the red. I'm specifying red colored border solid border and that two of one pixel we are going to see all this in detail in later session but right now we have one pixel of solid and red colored border 
So when I refresh the page, now I can see from the border, my content is having 20 pixels separated from all the sides. If I don't specify border or if I don't give this padding to the paragraph, you can see the content. I am zooming the for uh, as of now. My content and border are exactly touched because there is no padding. But I can if I specify padding, it will be separated by 20 pixel. And I can specify my uh, width of the border like I can specify it to be a 3 pixel. So my border will be of 3 pixel. I can specify this to n number which I want like 5 pixel. But here will be the difference when I specify padding. For example, I have two paras like this. One paragraph and I have another paragraph. I have two different paragraphs and I, am, I, I do not specify anything. I am resetting to, to the 100 pixel and I haven't specified margin anything. So you can see there is a 16 pixel of gap between these two. Not 16, it would be 32 pixel. We'll see why it is 32 pixel. But there is a 16 pixel, uh, some gap is there between these two paragraphs because there it is a paragraph and paragraph is having by default margin. But if I specify margin to be exactly 0 pixel, it will touch. Both the borders will touch because it is having 0 margin. Uh, it has some default properties of parameters but we have override that property to 0 pixel and if I increase this to 10 pixel it will space apart 10 pixel okay now when again I when I inspect this particular element what I see is I can see there is a padding of 20 pixel there is a border of 5 pixel and there is a margin of 10 pixel okay again same thing is happening with this particular case there is margin of 10 pixel border of 5 pixel padding of 20 pixel and our content so this is what box model is we can specify three different properties and even for example I don't want here any padding over here I'm zooming it I don't want padding here I want just padding in the left side so what I can simply do I can write padding dash left to 20 pixel and there won't be any padding over here just padding left to 20 pixel okay and same way I can specify for example in a top I want some padding but not 20 pixel I just want 5 pixel of padding in the top so there will be just 5 pixel of padding in the top and 20 pixel in the left this is this is called a box model how this content will have separated from the border and how this particular element will separate from the other element this distance is called a margin this distance is called a padding and width of the border is considered as a border okay for example we'll start with the padding we can specify full padding same padding for all or we can sep uh, specify it separately or we can use shorthand padding property it is called a shorthand padding why because we can write all the four properties in a single line I can specify top right bottom left in a single line I need not to write it separately four times this is called a shorthand properties let's see for example I'm writing here no I don't want this to be uh, writing it twice like padding dash left and padding dash top so I can simply write padding colon 10 pixel 20 pixel 30 pixel and 40 pixel so it will be separated like this and uh, uh, it will start from the top top is 10 pixel 20 pixel to the right 30 pixel to the bottom and 40 pixel to the left side but there is one question which I am leaving in this particular session if I write only three of these 
I don't want to specify all four properties. I am only specifying three properties. So this is your assignment for this particular video. You have to find what will happen if I write only three and what will happen if I write only two of them. Right? Uh, you know that if I write only one, then all the properties will be same or for or false side will be same. But if I write only two, what will happen? And if I write only three, what will happen? This is the assignment for this particular video.